So today we're going to cover the simple CTF or easy CTF. Um, we already have our VPN up and running. And uh, let's go ahead and perform our Nmap scan. So first we'll make a directory called simple CTF, CD into it. Nmap tech SV for versions. Uh, C tac pn uh, tac on and we'll write it out to a file for the IP and ten two nine one eighty. And I'll see you guys soon. So reviewing our nmap scan, we can see we have twenty one open with VSV FTPD. Um, port eighty HTTP and then SSH running on. Uh, quadruple two. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of these questions. So we can definitely answer this one already. How many services are running under port 1000? Uh, that is two. And then what is running on the higher port? And that is SSH. So knowing that there is a web browser on port 80, let's go ahead and navigate to it to just check it out. Default Apache 2 page. Um, so let's go ahead and enumerate this more. So we're gonna directory brute force uh, and hopefully find some unlinked pages. Uh, we're gonna do go buster, attack you the web page and then our word list will be opt deck list discovery uh web content directory list medium and we'll let this run so uh using gobuster we were able to use the medium word list and find the web page simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear our screen and go to Wax Simple. Okay, so uh, generally I like to look at the source code. Um, our CMS is made simple whole bunch of CSS and image files running PHP um, nothing too glaring in the comments and yeah so let's focus on that it's running the CMS made simple um, let's go ahead and see if there's a version and we're running version 228. So uh, going back to our TriHackMe page, we're asked what's the CVE we're gonna be using against the application. Um, here, we're presented with two options. We can either A, Google CMS made simple, uh, the version number, and then see if any exploits exist, or we can use our Kali machine. So uh, some of you may not have heard of exploit DB, but generally if there is a CVE associated with an application or product, um, there is a demonstrated POC available on exploit DB. Now, if you're running Kali, uh, you're able to access this resource offline and search it. So uh, taking this application made simple, right? Uh, all we have to do is type in search exploit uh, made simple. Now our version was 2.2.8. So we can go ahead and start here. Um, let me zoom out a little. And research. 
So authenticated, authenticated, cross-site scripting. These won't really apply. Authenticated, again, because we don't have creds. Uh, another cross-site scripting, authenticated, authenticated. Um, one vulnerability that looks promising is this one. So SQL injection. Um, so we can go ahead and locate this script, copy it to our current directory, and then we can go ahead and open it. So this is CVE 2019-9053. Um, we can go ahead and throw that in here and see if it actually works. Correct. And then for the next one, uh, because it said it was SQL, we can try SQLI. And there we go. Uh, going back to our script. So just briefly looking at it, all it needs is to specify crack, a word list to use to crack the admin password, and then the base URI for the target. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit out of this. Uh, Python 2.7. Uh, we can see that it needs, again, a URL. Specifying crack and the word list. And yeah, I think we can go ahead and, and attempt this. Uh, so Python tech U. Uh, this is the base CMS, so we'll we'll just tag that in, and then we'll use uh, we'll just use RockU as an example, and we'll go ahead and let this run. And then a quick update: we found the username Mitch. Come on, Mitch, what's your password? And yeah, while it corrects the password, um, be sure to press that like button if you made it this far. Okay, so now that we finally cracked that password, we can answer this question, and that is secret. So uh, our next question is, where can you log in with the details obtained? Uh, if you remember, uh, for our Nmap scan, we had uh, port 2222 open uh, for SSH. So we can go ahead and try SSHing as Mitch at 10.10.29.180 over this port, accepting this key and using this password. And there we go. We're logged into the machine. So to answer this question, where can you log in? That's over SSH. And then for the user.flag, uh, we can just do a quick ls and cat this out. And throw that in there. Okay, it doesn't want to work right now. And there we go. So now that we finished our user.txt file, let's go ahead and knock out this next question. Uh, what other home directories there are? So we can see that there is one called sunbathe. Now, generally, uh, when we perform privilege escalation, uh, there are scripts you can run like linpeas, uh, but there are generally just a couple simple commands you can use uh, when trying to figure out that next privilege escalation step. And one of those is just running sudo tech l. 
and here we can see that we can run the command vim with no password with root permission and then from here we can just go to gtfo bins uh do suid bit with vim let's just type in vim uh suid and then run this command. And we are root. Okay, and then we're gonna run, uh, we're gonna just cd into root, and then cat root.txt. And then there's our last flag. So from here, what can you leverage to spawn a privilege? shell and that is them and this is the root flag well done you made it and that room is done so that room wasn't too hard it was an easy ctf uh if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with a friend. I'll catch you guys on the next one.